Samuel Davis Smith Sr. was born on August 2, 1916 to the late Ransom Columbus Smith and to the late Fanny Kate Whiting Smith in Jasper County, Macon, Georgia. He was the youngest of six children. He and his family moved to Goodwin, Arkansas when he was 12 years old. It was there where they settled and attended the New Mount Zion Free Will Baptist Church under the leadership of William Thompson, who was the founder and also the stepfather of Agnes Evelyn Thompson, who later became his wife on November 25, 1937. In their union, they had 11 children. Samuel raised Martha Phillips, who was the oldest, as his own. Agnes Evan Thompson Smith was born on February 7, 1920 to the late Benny Brown and to the late Agnes Thompson, but she was raised by her mother's husband, William Thompson. She was a homemaker raising their children and grandchildren on their farmland where they raised and grew their own food. Samuel and Evelyn overcame many obstacles despite their limited education. Evelyn had a 6th grade education and Samuel had an 8th grade education, but they were still able to provide and support their large family. In fact, one of their children said, We didn't know we were poor until the government told us. Still, they loved, cared, and provided for their family. They were also able to obtain a Federal Housing Association loan, which was established in 1934. Between 1934 and 1950, 98% of the FHA loans were only given to white men because loans were only given to farmers who owned their own land and not to domestic workers. However, Samuel and Evelyn owned their land. In 1964, Samuel and Evelyn built their first four-bedroom brick home on their 103 acres of land. Later, Samuel was awarded Farmer of the Year and is currently in the Forest City Museum in Forest City, Arkansas. Today, their land is still being farmed while operating over 200 acres of land growing okra, peas, corn, and more. On January 25, 1998, Evelyn passed away at the Baptist Memorial Hospital in Little Rock, Arkansas. She was 77. And on Sunday, January 14, 2001, Samuel passed away at the St. Joseph Nursing Home in Brinkley, Arkansas. He was 84.